Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Defense. As you can see right here, I've drastically changed the user interface and don't worry, the download will be in the link so that you can download it yourself and change your user interface. There also will be other changes to the game as you can see and I'll explain that when we go over that part. Today we're not going to be going over level 2. Uh, that will be moved toward a most likely the next tutorial or once we finish with this material we'll be moving on to that but I decided it'd be probably best to move to an options and then check sound and all that type of other stuff and then also modified and fix some bugs so that you guys can get that information and then fix it before we move on to a level 2 system. Um, it's not a lot it's just a lot of repetition it makes it seem like it a lot. So I have right here, you know, basically it's just a play button. It's just a transparent button. And if you click on it, you go to options. Now options is my layout four. Um, and let's zoom out. Now this button right here is the go back to menu button. And if you highlight it, it will say menu. So you're not like guessing what is that button and you click and you do something you don't want to do you highlight it and then it will basically say menu and then you mouse is off of it and then you can uh, go back to whatever you're doing the little blue marks I will be changing to regular G GUI or graphical user interface tabs uh, they're just there for now and I have the music to set the maximum I'm actually not fully done with the user interface, but I decided we're going to be doing each element um, basically one at a time. And this whole user interface thingy, if I can zoom out, it's just temporary. I just really liked it, uh, but I'll be actually making my own to replace it. <laughs> and then there was actually a bug, if I can remember. Oh, as you can see, I changed the sprites. So these were for uh, in a Unity 3D. Um, and I think one of their free... You go to Unity 3D Asset Store, and you can find these. And I'll put them down in the, oops, in the link below so that you can see it. Um, this is... I'm going to basically say this is the tutorial level, so before we even enter this, um, basically the actual game, this is a tutorial saying space, shoot, blah, 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 and we'll actually get that in, you know, next, telling you, once we finish it, we then start saying what each level is supposed to be right now, this is just us figuring out how the game's supposed to work. Uh, and we have our level two. We got level one, we got level two. Level two will come very soon. We got the text, we have to go back to menu, and this actually reminds me of something. If we go to level two, and not level two, but event sheet two, we have all this code. And if you've done exactly what I did or similar, you will have the same thing of on start of layout. I had this to uh, add to. Instead, you needed to put to set to value. That means every time I was going back to the menu, I was constantly adding to the score. So that, that's not like, okay, you're always going to check to make sure that you know what the enemies did score is now. Instead of adding to it, it's now... Okay, let me just put this before. Before, we weren't going back to the menu. And now we are going back to the menu to go to options or whatever, we were only worried about, oh, I'm going to go play another level or the same level or a different level. And so we were always making sure that if you were going from, you know, the level selected to the game, that it wasn't adding points to your score. Um, it was only checking to make sure that the score that you got in game was the correct score and keeping it that and it wasn't adding to it, even though, you know, it's like, Basically, you play a level 3, and it's still checking level 1 to make sure that it's, you know, your score is 15 points. It cannot be higher than 15 points because, you know, you didn't score higher than 15 points. Before, it was saying, oh, let's just add 15, add 15. And it was only checking it when you were clicking on that level or a different level. 
and saying, okay, you know, we're going to set it to zero, then we're going to add whatever score. Now it's basically, now what we're doing is saying, okay, wherever you go, we're going to make sure that whatever score you got, you're going to keep it. And if you get a new score, that's what, that's what we're going to keep track of now. Um, and this is cursor over back to menu button. This is, and I need to get rid of this, and that, and that, and that. Don't worry, I'll be uploading this uh, file, guys, so you can uh, view it. I know it's a lot of material, that's why I want to do these in short areas. And I'll probably be re-going over material that we've ever covered, so that you guys know what it is. So, th basically, what we're going to be doing is covering this little thing. Start small before we get big. So it's a back to menu button. Wherever you are, you click that, you go straight back to menu. How do I do this and how do I do the other effects? Okay, so let's hit play or run and see what we're actually going to be doing. Um, you see, I highlight it and it says menu. I go back to menu. We're at menu. Hit play. Menu. Okay, so how did I do this? Well, basically, right here, and I set this to opacity, so basically it's transparent, is the, and I can actually set it to 100 now, is the word menu. It's just a text box, and I set it to, say, menu. So basically it's, excuse me, uh, let's see, cursor is over object, and the object is, it's really kind of hard to see because it's almost transparent in itself. It only shows up against a darker background. It is a back to menu button. Um, let's see. And then we're going to set that object's opacity to 100 so now it's visible. And we're going to make sure it's, I was having some issues of it appearing behind stuff. So I put move to top of layer. And wait 0 0.1 seconds. Not one seconds, but zero. I was uh, one seconds would work, but it was I was still having uh, issues where it was just kind of like it looked glitchy. So 0 0.1 seconds is basically checking every. It's basically every one millisecond is checking to make sure your mouse is over that um, menu icon. Um, if it is, uh, this is. Uh, await and then uh, then it says okay we're checking 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 and as soon as you know it's off then we'll set you back to transparent okay so if it's on you get you can see it it's if it's you know uh, move on and then you move on top of layer wait and then we're gonna say wait before we go, okay, um, basically set it to an invisible. And actually, it's not wait till the mouse is off. This is basically uh, whenever cur the cursor is on the back to menu button, it's always going to add 0 0.1 seconds. So we'll run layout. Because whoosh. Every time my mouse is on it, it's just saying 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. But as soon as I am off, as soon as I'm off, it's already counted 0 0.1 seconds, and then we're done. And then the basic thing, th basically what it is, and I already showed you this, is when we click it, we go back to the menu. They hit play. Um, actually, hit there. But it also works in options. I need to read that. And that's, you know, the music we'll be working on next. Is It also works here. So you need to make sure it's there too. And we'll hit menu. And it's basically the code right here. So, um,. Cursors over the menu button, move menu button to top layer, and then wait 0 0.1 seconds. And as long as the mouse is over it, it's just going to stay there. But as soon as it, this checks and says it's not over it, 
set it to invisible and if you click on it go to layout one okay so that's that and now what we're going to do is now we're going to mess with the sound system which is a little bit more complicated but it's not too much actually not much at all um Okay, so basically is every time each one of these little blue sky blue little buttons is exactly that. It's a button. This is not a, you know, and I, I tried this, but I was like, we'll do that later. And when we actually build our first official big video game is uh, maybe in the RTS game or top down shooter is when you can drag an item across it. And, and as far as it goes right or however far it goes right or left it indicates how high or low or whatever system something is and I've seen this on a uh, demo and I'll probably link that too is a guy made a tutorial on this exact thing where you drag a item across a bar or whatever and it changes the color of something but that was going to be a huge amount of code and I was like baby steps guys so this is something similar so we have mute 25% 50%, 75%, and a 100%. So basically it is, and here's that uh, back to menu button code right here. Basically is uh, on left button clicked on um, H50 volume, set the little slider pen to uh, we will just look for H50 volume so I can show you exactly. So I, I double clicked on it, H50. And then I went to set, I uh, highlight this and I click get the object's X coordinate in pixels. And then get the Y coordinates in pixels. That means it will set it right there. And then basically you just do that for all your little sound icons. And then we move on to the actual uh volume settings so on collision so the slider pin is going to collide with the mute or, or whatever i am um, little thumbnail or whatever there is so it, like little tabs so on set awake okay uh that's this the music i have from open game art um so i gave it a tag uh and tags are very useful that means okay something named uh, you know, tagline one, tagline two. Those are two different, two different songs. We don't want to play tagline two. We want to play tagline one. So uh, a tag is identifying a sound loop. So the tag awake is set to dB, and that's an audio term. Uh, and we set it to minus a hundred, which zero is normal volume, and um. I put minus 100 so it would be absolutely, absolutely muted so you wouldn't have any ghost things in your ear. So a collision with H25 volume sets it to 250. I wasn't getting enough difference in volume so I set it for 250 and set sound to 20.5. This is actually uh, something we're going to be carrying with. Just hold on to me with me guys and I'll explain why I have set 25, set 50, set 75, and set 100. But basically it's on collision with H75, tag awake, DB75, uh, 7500. So we're upping the volume and I have this set to um, 1000. Okay, so now that's basically saying okay uh you want to click on and i have to go back to menu kind of something else i have to look into so we go to options and that's muted that's 25 50 75 100 and it's not really, you know, a huge difference um, that I can tell. But what we're also going to do is we're going to make sure that it is recognized throughout the whole game. Um, so we're going to go to layout one, advanced sheet one. And so 
we have something called global number zero. So that means set system to zero. That tells this to go to zero, and then that tells Okay, um, I just had to check something real quick. So basically, this is on loader layout complete. Set the um, so and and the start of the game, uh, which is basically the menu. Set the audio awake to muted sound. Uh, choose a variable to compare. So when sound is equal to zero, and then the start of the video game, it's equal to zero. Set it to muted. On uh, on loader layout complete. That means when it's loaded, whatever scene. Uh, set the oh, set the awake to unmuted because it's going to enter 25. Remember that in the sound menu, every time you tick something, it basically sets it to that. Um, it basically sets it to that um, number. Yeah, as it says set, so we don't have to worry about it adding or anything like that. Basically, it erases it and puts it um, to a, a, a new number. So, I mean, so we're going to be setting this set awake volume to actually 250 and then 500, 750, and then 100. Okay, forgot to update that. So, this is basically it keeping check whatever you are in the menu or in the game or whatever. And then on start of loadout, we want to preload our song. So basically, you probably want to reload. On start of layout, you probably want to preload um, a whole lot of your music or something like that. So it's already grabbable. OK, I think that should be it. Um, Kinda had a long morning checking on this. So it's muted. And then it's 25%, 50, 75, 100, muted. So we hit play. Yep, level 1. And then we're playing our video game. And there's level 10. No level 2 yet, we want to play it again. Yeah, play it again. There we go. 15. Options. Menu. And I may have a uh, sound picker where you can choose, you know, what type of, types of music you want to choose. So we hit menu. Hit play. Menu again. Okay, so so hopefully you know you understood you know the sound system, and then I'll probably have screen resolution next. Um, go back to menu. There's a play. Just making. I'm just making sure right now that I got everything. Um, yeah, pretty much got everything. Again, I'll probably go over this, and if I miss anything, I will upload another video. Um. Kind of have a very bogged down day right now. My head's full of fluff, of uh, and you can download it and check it. And then what I also will be doing in okay, so pretty much that was it. So now we're going to go into um, probably level two next video, maybe. And then we'll go into shield systems. See, in level one, I didn't want you guys having shield systems. Well, in level two, I'm going to implement a shield system similar to what Halo has. So you get hit, and it, you know you got a bar sliding in, a, in different directions and all that stuff. And then if it hits zero, boom, you get blown up. So that actually shouldn't be too hard to do. So um, again, hit the like button. And if you need any clarification, I can always upload another video specifically going over that particular item, and it's no problem with me. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and hit the like button if you did, and hey, 
I hope you guys enjoy building video games.